All right. So the other week I had you guys do um, an activity where you tried um, different shapes to see um, what your child was able to make, what was easy, what was hard for them. Um, so if they were able to do the first page of shapes, um, but the second page of shapes was tricky for them, um, then this is a video to show you how we practice those shapes at school um, so that you can practice them at home. All right, so we'll start with the square because it is the easiest of these shapes for most kids. Every now and then you'll find a child who makes a triangle before they make a square, but most of the time kids learn to make a square first. So for the square, I'll tell kids um, the words I tend to use are down, stop, over, stop, up, stop, top, stop. And we'll work on really actually stopping when, because some kids just want to keep going. So we'll try to actually stop when we say stop and we work on doing that and slowing down. Um, and if a child still can't do it and can't wrap their head around it, I'll give them um, some dots and we'll try to connect the four dots. And I always go in the same order so that they get the pattern and it just becomes a, ha a consistent habit. So down, stop, over, stop, up, stop, top, stop. Okay, just like that. And for, tr for, the, um, for the diagonal lines, those can be a little bit trickier because they're just kind of by themselves. Um, you can see if you can model the line, if they can't copy it and see if they can imitate it next to yours um, to see if they're able to do that. Um, sometimes I will kind of make half an X and have them see if they can finish the X and start on this line and stop on that line. I might start with dots and see if they can go cross through like that. And then I might take the line that um, those dots away and say, okay, start on this line, cross through and end on that line and see if they can do that um, as a way to practice. Sometimes we'll all do something like um, make like a right angle triangle like that and have them go from here to here to get a diagonal line if they're not able to do it independently yet. Um, so those are just some ways. And then you work towards doing it without, uh, without having that visual support. So you're always trying to build towards more independence, of course. Um, for the triangle, um, the way that I usually use it, is do it is have kids go slide, slide across. And that way it's, it's like we usually have kids make an A, um, kind of for consistency. So it, you, you start from the top and go down and down. And then instead of making that line in the middle, you just move that line down to the bottom. And um, for that one, some kids, I will do the three dots um, and, you know, have them do this. But then often I will fade to one dot um, just at the top and say, okay, start your triangle right here um, and see if they can, because sometimes it's just hard for them to remember to start on that one dot. Um, and then often they can go from there because usually connecting that bottom part is not the hard part for them. It's figuring out how to start it because some of them will want to make an H sort of thing. They'll just to make two parallel lines instead of starting one that starts in the same place. Um, so there's that. And then you can, um, what you can do with this next to get more practice is um, build it into um, an activity that has a lot of re um, repetition. So you could make like a building and say, let's make lots of windows. You know, give it a door here and then just have your child work on drawing lots of windows. How many windows can we build in this building? 
and see how much you can keep going with making squares and count the windows or something like that. Or to work on squares and triangles, you could do how many houses with roofs can we make or something like that. So that, um, especially if it's something that they're interested in, um, would be a bonus. Um, so anything like that that you can think of that gets them practicing um, over and over again, um, doing those patterns. And if you can fade out the visual supports as you go, then it helps. All right. I hope that helps and hopefully we'll see you soon. Okay.